there is a lot going on. Yes, just me. River is still at work. Just sad because it's 618. I got home just a little bit after six. Um, longer than I usually like to be. And unfortunately, River's still at work. But hopefully he'll be home soon. Really excited that it's Friday and this week is behind us and done. It was a very busy week. But I actually ran to the store, grabbed myself my usual salad that I've kind of been on a kick with. We're so spoiled that we're next to a Joel, seriously. Like I get to go make a fresh salad every day if I want. And it's so cheap. I got full huge salad and a roll, which is not healthy, but that's okay, for like $5. So I don't know. It kind of beats like buying all the produce and things and then having it and not being in the mood for a salad or to eat it and then it's just going to waste. And this way I can still have a salad, but I don't have to buy everything and worry about not wanting it and then having it go bad. But my plan for the rest of the evening is to really just kind of relax. Um, I do have some photos to edit, so maybe I'll do that tonight. I really wanted to get another blog post out today. I, with the party on Wednesday, that just really threw me off. And yesterday I was not feeling great to like write a post and everything. So maybe I'll get it out tomorrow, we'll see. Maybe I'll edit tonight, but really, I just really want to relax and then enjoy our weekend. Probably do some errands. It's supposed to snow. Ooh, we're supposed to have snow this weekend. I heard there was supposed to be a snowstorm, like six inches, which I, is kind of a snowstorm to us, I guess. But we'll see. But always happy for snow. You're home. Home. Finally, after hours. It's late. I'm tired. I bet. What'd you get? Um, I stopped at the store. I picked up some nanners. Nanners. Yeah, ones that look sort of ripe because we were looking at that paleo recipe, that banana bread recipe the other day. Yeah. And I was like, yes. And then I got some mushrooms, some peppers, some tilapia, and I found some ground lamb. Ooh. Lamb anything. Yum. Bam blam. Bam blam. Today was the Friday that just wouldn't quit. I asked Friday to be nice. I tweeted out this morning, Friday, play nice. It's almost the weekend, but it didn't feel like playing nice. So it's late now, and I'm finally home. And we just, I don't know if Allison said this, but we, we like finally just started the vlog. So it is like late, and we're just getting started, and this is so terrible. I stopped at the store just to get like a couple vegetables because I wanted to make my dinner tonight. And then I saw this tilapia, and then I saw this like glam, and I was like, oh, I just need to get all the paleo foods because this weekend I plan on doing a lot of cooking for myself. I've got like a fridge full of like paleo stuff, and we've got to eat it. Allison and I used to have a very bad habit, a bad habit of like we'll buy produce, we'll buy like things from the store, and then it will sit in there, and then no one will eat it, and then it goes bad. And we're not doing that anymore. We're not being wasteful. We're not doing anything like that. Sometimes we buy like stuff for salads and things like that. And then we would end up getting things other than salad. So no more of that. So now we have to eat our foods. I'm probably gonna do like a big like day of cooking or something like that tomorrow maybe, maybe Sunday because I do have to work throughout the whole weekend and like try to get some stuff done. The faster I can get this work done, the better. So hopefully I just like get up tomorrow early after I edit the vlog and stuff and just like cruise because if I can get that stuff done, we'll be good. That's right guys, I am making a little stir fry not only just for dinner, but also for kind of like later in the week and stuff like that. I've got some onion and garlic, minced garlic, some portobello mushrooms, green pepper, red pepper, and then ground turkey. Put a little bit of 
olive oil just kind of in my pan. And I'm gonna cook my meat first. Reason why I'm cooking the meat first is even though it's 93.7, which means 93% lean, 7% fat, it will get a lot of that fat off there. And if you cook the um, vegetables first in that, I find that it makes them kind of soggy because like it absorbs the fat, which is like nobody wants soggy vegetables. Put a little bit of garlic powder, paprika, a little salt and pepper in there. Just to give it a little bit of spice. I'm getting ready to add all these vegetables and I'm realizing I need to walk. If you guys don't know to walk, it's kind of like that bowl shaped like Asian cooking dish. I need that real bad. Alright guys, it is coming together and looking great. I'm gonna put the top on just for a little bit. Just because I find that like, I don't want it to be mushy, right? And so you want that steam to get out. But I find if I just like put the top on just for a little bit, it helps like cook and make those peppers especially, and the mushrooms, a little more tender. All right guys, what do you think? Give this video a thumbs up for stir fry. I'm gonna put it in these little Tupperware containers cause then I can put them in the fridge and just like go and like when it's time to get a meal and like get it. By far the hardest thing about paleo, the hardest thing about like lifestyle changes or diets, like whatever you wanna call them in general is that convenience factor. Like spending the time that invests in your commitment to yourself of like cooking that can make or break you because how many of us have tried to like do something different, you know, get on a diet, but then like it's come time to like make a big production a meal and we're just like, screw it, I'll eat the Doritos because I don't want to get out and like cut up all the food and cook it all and then finally get to your on eating it. All right, done with dinner. Guys, I am feeling a little overwhelmed. While I was eating my dinner, I was like, writing down all the things that we have to do putting up the stickies and just kind of trying to figure out my day and what it's going to go like tomorrow for like the vlog and like all the things that we're trying to do and the vlog is literally like the easiest thing in the world to do because it's just documenting our day and taking it with us so it's not that big of a deal but the issue is is that there is the work that i have to do like professional like where I just came spent my whole li my whole week and I have to do all of that stuff and planning my day out tomorrow is going to be like planned down to like the second I feel like it's going to be one of those days because we have a lot of like Christmas cards to finish we've got um, some YouTube stuff and like videos and things that we're trying to do I also have just made some upgrades kind of on the back end I'll, I'll tell you more about that later but I've got to like get up to speed on that and there's just a lot to do guys like I I don't normally get overwhelmed easy but I'm like right on the cusp of that and just thought I would share with you because I think it's only fair that I feel like it's not authentic it's not authentic if I only tell you guys or show you guys or Allison only tells you or shows you like all of the good and happy stuff and blah 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 and like it makes us so happy that some of you come here for like your inspiration for uh, an uplifting vlog and things like that and like don't get me wrong like we want to do that and it makes us so happy to give that to you but part of that too is being real with you because you guys give us so much awesome feedback so much love in the comment section you guys are like sending us stuff now like you guys are awesome and we owe it to you just like we try to get back to all of you in the comment section we owe it to you to be like truthful and honest and the honest and truthfulness in this moment is there is a lot going on but we are not going to let it get us down we are going to finish our sticky notes over here on the wall and just like 
just plow through them, guys. I mean, it's all, it, it gives us such great pleasure to have days like today where there's just like a lot going on and a lot to do, but how accomplished we feel by like, you know, taking one of these off, crumpling it up and throwing it away because that's like our favorite thing about the sticky note wall. It is the best for feeling accomplished. Guys, we are in here in the bedroom and <laughs> We have our new, like, long plugs that we, like, plug our phones in, and it, like, very often, like, drapes on the floor like that, which some of you might be thinking is, like, whoa, the cats are going to get after that. Be careful. But Anna is absolutely terrified of this cord. I don't know if she thinks it's like a snake or something, but I noticed it. And this is the first night. This is we've had these like plugged in for like what, like a week now yeah. or so. And I was like it was dragging across my body and she was sitting up on the bed and she is terrified. I tried like showing her that it's like okay and she was like not having it. She was trembling. And now she's sitting over there in the door because she refuses to come any closer. You can come. Anna. Come here, baby. It's okay. Are you scared of the cord? I just feel bad because she was like trembling and then she was doing the whole thing where the cat's like, like bat <laughs> at the stuff. And the dude, she got so scared that like literally the slightest anything, like this little fuzz on the blanket, she was terrified of it and she just had to get out of here. Oh my God, poor thing. <laughs> But all right guys, it's time to end the vlog. Ellis and I are exhausted. We're gonna head to bed. It's been a super long week, but we appreciate every single one of you sticking with us. Thanks a lot. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up button whenever you like any of our videos. We really appreciate it. And be sure to subscribe if you are brand new. Thanks a lot, and we will see you in the morning. Bye!